lot of people are concerned about the impacts of trawling on the environment. There are a lot of concerns that trawling may damage the seabed and there are also a lot of concerns that trawling indiscriminately catches all the fish in the path of the trawl. I'm going to show you that that's actually not entirely true and that in many cases it's not the case at all, particularly in the Gulf of Maine. But first, let's take a look at trawling. Let's go out with Captain Jim Ford, who we've worked with on numerous projects, and see what trawling looks like in the course of a day. Jim usually leaves port early in the morning. By the time you're having breakfast, Jim's already been out at sea for a couple of hours and is ready to deploy his net for the first time. The net is basically a conical shaped piece of netting which is towed over the seabed. He has weights at the bottom of his net and he has floats at the top. And he tows that net through the water, catching the fish that he wants to, wants to keep and bring home to the table. Jim tows this net for a couple of hours. He repeats the process about three or four times during the day and then he heads home in the afternoon. So by the time you get home from school or get home from work, Jim's tying up his boat and the catch is being unloaded and is heading off to the supermarket. One of the things I spend a lot of time doing here is working with fishermen like Jim Ford to improve the selectivity of trawl gear. And by that I mean we catch more of what we want to catch and less of what we don't want to catch. One of the other pieces of research I do is to modify the geometry of the net. So that's changing the height and the width of the net as it's towed through the seabed. And by making certain modifications I can reduce the drag of the net as it's towed through the water, which means that the fuel that's used to tow that net is reduced. So by modifying trawl geometry, I can reduce fuel consumption and save fishermen like Jim a few dollars. I also help modify the ground gear of a trawl so that it reduces the habitat impact and also improves the selectivity of the trawl. The fact is that trawling here is generally occurs over soft substrates. The seabed is characterised by sand and mud and so the impacts are generally considered to be minimal. Trawling in the Gulf of Maine has a long history and is really important to the local economy. While the environmental impacts of trawling are often overstated, it's important to reduce any impacts as best we can. That's what I do. 